Hi guys, Tommy Brandenburg here from Horny Buck Seed. Now that you're a proud owner of your Sniper 3G Commander, we want to go through the basic steps on how to set it up and use it properly. First step is to look in the bottom of your box and get your IMEI number. This is a very important number while setting it up to get your cell service up and going. We're going to go through the opening of the box and we'll set up the camera properly. First thing you see when you open up the commander box is your AT&T service. This will help you set up through buy a session through AT&T and get it all running for you. So we'll put this card to the side. Next thing you'll see is your Sniper 3G Commander. So we'll pull it out of the bag. Some of these bags will have a little sticker with that number that's on the bottom of the box. So you want to get that number out and put it on the inside of the camera. Some will also have it already set up inside that camera. As you can see, this one is right here. Again, that number is used to hook up your service. So let's go through the rest of the stuff in the box. Right here, you'll have your RCA cord, which will hook up to the bottom of the camera, your USB cord, which will be used to hook it up to the computer, your antenna that will go on the top of the camera, and your strap that will hold it onto the tree or post. The last thing, that's two things, are the most important, which would be your sniper info book and your SIM card from AT&T. The SIM card will go in first. So you'll break this little card out, just like that, and it will be inserted into the camera right here up in this top right corner. So you'll push it in. It's kind of hard. What I do, I don't have fingernails. So what you do is you'll take the card that you just took it out of and press it in like so until it clicks in. Now it's clicked in. Next thing to do is to open the bottom of it where the first set of batteries will go. Now I like to use lithium batteries. When you're running a cell camera, you want batteries that will last full power all the way up until they die. So this will help you out. So now at the bottom of the box, or on the camera, you'll see a little thing that says push. So push that in, it will open up your trap door for your batteries. You can look inside here and see this is the negative side and this is a positive side. So the two batteries that go on that side will be inserted with the negative side up. And then the other two will go up with the positive terminal. Just like that. Now there will be a little pressure with here with the safety, so you just press it until it clicks again and it will stay in. The next thing you'll need to turn on your camera is an SD card as you can see. Now you can use anything from 2 to 32 gig in these cameras. So you'll take it and you'll see a little diagram on there to show you what way to push it in. So you'll push it in until it clicks again. Then we can close the trap door. Now you'll have full power to the battery or to the camera itself. So we'll hit the little on switch would be down here in the left corner, flip it up, then you'll hit the OK button which is on the right side on the top. This will now activate the screen and your screen will turn on. Now we'll hit the menu button to go through some of the settings. All right, now that we have the camera all opened up and the batteries are in it, SIM cards are in it, and the SD card, now we can go through the basic functions of the camera. You'll have these four switches. Again, the left one is an on-off switch. The second one in is camera mode versus video mode. The third one is the number of LEDs that are used in night vision flash. So you'll have a setting for the top one is 25 and the bottom one is 50, 56 IR. So you'll decide in the 25, I would like to use that if you're in the woods and you have a small setting where you're trying to shoot a deer, that's gonna be within 10, 10 to 15 yards, I would say. The bottom one, has 56 IRs that will flash and that will extend your range, especially when you're opened up into an open field. You'll get those clear pictures of deer that are far off. The third button is for your signal. So this will be used, if you have it running as a cell camera, you would turn it on, which would be up. And if you're running it as a normal camera with no service, just flip it to the down. Now we'll go through the menus. As you see, there's the cam, PIR, 3G, 
and other. The cam is going to be for all your basic settings such as your IDs. So your ID will go through and this will be, allow you to put a four letter ID on every camera you own. So you'll hit OK. Then you can turn it on or off. If you switch it to on, hit OK again. This will give you the, the possibility to put your camera ID numbers in. You can put your name in there or any number that you want to if you're marking different cameras. To go back, we always hit the menu button. Then you can go down to camera mode. Camera mode will allow you to change it from photo, pick video, or just video. So we'll hit menu and go back. Thirdly, on the camera option is your image size. You'll have three images sizes, 12 megapixel, 8 megapixel, or 5 megapixel. Now keep in mind that whenever you use the size of megapixels, it's going to eat up more of the space on the SD cards. I like to run it at 12 megapixel because it will improve your quality on your pictures. The next one is your night mode. There's a few different options in night mode. You've got your maximum range, your balanced, which would be a, a in between the two, or your minimum blur, which will get create less blurring pictures as the deer are closer to you. Go back. Now we got multi-shot. You can also do multiple shots, so this will snap shots immediately right after them. You got one all the way through five instantly taking pictures. Let's go back. The next option is your video size. Now you can change it from HD, VGA, or the 1080p FHD, which is full high definition. Again, keep in mind this will also eat up more space on your SD card if you do use the 1080p. The second thing you could do is change your video length. Now you can change your video length from anywhere from 5 seconds to 3 minutes just by hitting down button and that will go through each one. So that is the video length once the camera is actually triggered. And again, the longer the video, the more space it will take up on your SD card. Now we'll go into the PIR. The PIR will have your sensitivity, your delay, your time lapse, and your timer. Your sensitivity, we'll go through the first one. Your sensitivity has three options, high, middle, and low. If you wanted high sensitivity, it is used for open spaces that don't have too much interference with it. If you're going to have any kind of branches or leaves, you do want to use the low. I like to run it in middle and then kind of get a feel for what the area is, then you can adjust from there. The delay on your camera is when it takes pictures, it's the amount of time that it takes in between each camera, each picture, for it to trigger another picture. If you are using it on cell service, I do suggest a minimum of 30 seconds because it does take time for the camera to reset, send the picture. I like to keep it on one minute. It's a lot more easier on the camera. You use less batteries up. Once a deer is in the picture, usually you don't have to take more than one picture every minute. You'll still have the same deer in the frame. Time lapse would be if you want to take a picture over the food plots. Now you can turn your time lapse on. It will take a picture every so often. Again, you can set that any from hours to minutes to seconds, anywhere in between. Just by hitting the up and down button, you can change the settings so that it's taking a picture every five seconds all the way up to once every day. All right, the last setting under the PIR setting is the timer. If you click on the timer, you can turn it on. This will allow you to be able to record and take pictures from a certain time of day to an, another time. So if you started at 5 to 7 o'clock, the camera will go off between those certain times. This will be helpful if you want to just watch a food plot while you'd be in a deer stand or if you have a deer pattern, that way you can turn it on and it will take pictures even if they are not in range of the sensor. Now let's go to the 3G setting. Now you'll see email one and email two. The commander is able to send it to two different phones directly hooked up to the camera itself. An email one slot would be your first phone number. So we hit OK. This will pull up your symbols, letters, and numbers. The menu button is created to give you each one of these different settings. First you'll type in your number. 
10 digit number. So go down and hit each number separately. And by hitting OK, we'll put the number up at the top of the screen. All right, for Verizon service, now that we have our 10 digit number into it, we'll now hit at symbol, at, change it to the letters again, go down to V, Z, W, P, I, X. Dot com. So that's what you'll see in the top of the screen. Now, after you've entered it, you want to go over to the safety button, which will save it. So you'll go up and you'll see this little red symbol that's pointing upward. You'll hit OK one more time. If you have a different provider than Verizon that I just showed you how to do it, if you look on your Commander 3G instructional manual, it will list the AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, and it will go through step by step on how to put in your number there, like I just explained. The last one is the other. We'll go down to date and time, and we want to explain that the date that we have set up would be the day, month, and year, and time is in military. So you'll set that to the proper time. Now your stamp, you have the option to turn the stamp off. This is the info strip that when the camera takes a picture and sends it to you, you can either see your date, time, and your name. Uh, you can turn it off or on so that you don't have to have that covering up some of the pictures. Your battery type is pretty important. You have the two options to run an alkaline or your lithiums. If you're running the lithiums, you want it set on the NIMH setting. We do suggest running lithiums, again, because it does hold power longer. Now that we got all the internal settings set up for your preference, we're going to go through and how to hook it up to the actual tree. So your second part of putting the batteries in would be your battery pack. This is attached to the back of the 3G in the box. So open this little flip door right here with your finger. It's got a little push tab and you'll put the remaining four batteries. So there will be a total of eight lithium batteries put in it. You'll insert it according to which direction the positive terminals will be. The springs will also help you guide that. Um, you always know the negative is always on the spring side of that. We'll close the trap door. Now we can attach it to the actual camera itself. So you just simply push it in so that the little buttons and terminals will insert into the terminal side, just like that. Then you'll have two little clips that go on there on each side and they'll snap together. Now it's one unit. You have the option of little set screws in here so that you cannot take this battery pack off without a screwdriver. Now we'll get our tree strap. Take it out like so. And you'll feed it through these little sides on the actual battery pack. One on each side. Then you can pull it through and you'll have the alligator cinch so you can put it through and attach it to any size tree. The next thing we need to do is put on our antenna. There's a little cover on here, so you want to take this little yellow thing off. Take your cover or your antenna and simply screw it on. Now it's ready for the tree. So this summer, when you order all your horny buck seed, make sure you add one of these commanders, 3Gs from Sniper, to add to your food plot so you can enjoy watching all your bucks and does enjoy all their horny buck seed from the comfort of your own couch. Plus you'll have lots of pictures on your phone that you can share to all your friends and a brag.
Enjoy your Sniper 3G camera.